Everything you see on the screen is something that we made up. It's all in your head, so you spend years thinking about how this thing will be. One of my favorite lines was when we were working on the robots, and there came a moment where we projected like three shots from the final film. And everybody just oohed and out, and oh, this is gonna be great, this is gonna be great, now we all get it. One of the seasoned story artists came up to me and he said, this is where the film gets bigger than the people that made it. And that just made me feel like, right. wow. It's amazingly collaborative, amazingly frustrating because you have so many opinions and then, but it is, it's, it's also sort of magic that it comes together in the end. You have this unusually collaborative process which, you know, these guys as directors manage to synthesize this massive amount of input that's coming through so that it comes out as a singular expression. I think all of us, obviously, our goal is to make films that have appealing characters and, and speak universal truths to audiences. And if you do that, and then you don't kill everybody at the end of the movie, theoretically, you can go on <laughs> and make a second one. Join The Hollywood Reporter as we talk with some of the pioneering directors and producers who are responsible for this year's animated hits. On this episode, we have Dan Scanlon, director, Monsters University, Chris Buck, director of Frozen, Christine Belson, producer, The Crudes, Chris Wedge, director of Epic, and Chris Melodondri, producer of Despicable Me 2. We made a decision fairly early on in, in the evolution of Despicable Me with, uh, with Steve Carell to embrace him as a creative partner. His instinct was to do the character with an accent. I've been recruited by a top secret agency to save the world. Cruise back in the game with gadgets and weapons and cool cars, the whole deal. You can kind of tell when it when the voice literally clicks into the body, where there's just this moment of, wow, that voice is in that body. And it's not just the physical look, it's also the character. This person embodies that character. This person can add something to that character. I look back at the list of animated films that have been made in the last 18 years, and, um, and it's an extraordinary feeling because so many of them are so good. And, and I, think it's, you know, I think it's because of the kinds of things that you're hearing from this group today.